Hey, Brandon with Go Hunt. I just wanted to go over one of my favorite features on maps. Um, I come from an older, I guess you could say old school form of maps. I love paper maps. I love the old, we call them the quad maps and they're a topographical map. Part of all of that experience that I've had with maps, we worked with a GIS analyst to produce what we call the Go Hunt Topo. Um, it's, it's got all the great features of a historical topographical map that you would have used in paper, but it's been refined and built with the hunter in mind. So diving into our Go Hunt map, it's got some specific features. Um, they're very tailored to a hunter. We've cleaned it up so you can navigate with it in the field very easily. Um, but there, there's some, some unique use cases that I really like using a topographical map for. Uh, but to jump into to our topographical map, you're going to see that it's highly shaded. So you're going to see green and you're going to see white. And what that is, is vegetation cover versus open areas. Uh, one unique thing with the Go Hunt one is we can update that in real time. So as wildfires and burns go through the landscape, or as the landscape changes year in and year out, we can go in and update that shading so that it's accurate to real time. Uh, that's a unique feature to ours. It's not the, the good old topographical map that every mapping app seems to have out there. Ours is unique to that, that we can update it, we can shade it how it needs to do, because that's ultimately how you're navigating is in and out of those features. So green, vegetation cover, white, open areas. And it's, and it's very accurate for the areas that we've, we've tested it in. I've used it you know, quite a bit in the field and, and love that feature. The other area is that we've, we've improved this is we've cleaned it up a bit. This is not you know, an, an outdoor rec map. It doesn't have all the points of interest that you might need with sightseeing or different features or landscape, different things like that. It's, we've cleaned it up and you get vegetation shading, you get hill shading, and you get your topographical lines. And they're very easy to identify and read as you go through our map. And for those that aren't familiar with the topographical map, it's the map with all the lines on it. Uh, what that does is, as, as the elevation or slope increases, um, those, those lines show you that. So the closer together those lines are, the steeper the terrain is. The further apart they are, the, the, the less slope that you have on there. So uh, you'll notice some areas, as you go through the map, some areas will be, you know, those lines are just stacked on top of each other. What that does is allows you to, to identify the steep areas. What that also allows you to do is you start to identify saddles. Um, for a lot of us, you know, as you get into e-scouting and using a topographical map to go through, you know, topography features, you can start planning pinch points, you know, areas that, you know, for instance, high country mule deer, mule deer tend to go over saddles versus over peaks. And you can help identify, you know, likely areas that the deer will move or elk will move. So one key, key area that an elk hunter may key in on are benches, and those are easily identified on a topographical map. It's areas that, you know, you'll have that stacked topographical line, and then you'll have a gap and another stacked topographical line. And so elk love benches, they love bedding on them, they love feeding on them. Oftentimes it's got all the habitat that they need uh, on those benches. So I use a, a topographical map to help identify those as well. Another area that I use our topographical maps for is route planning. Uh, with, with the contour lines being a 40 meter contour or 20 meter contour, whichever zoom level you're looking at it, it helps me plan the amount of time it's gonna take me to get up a ridge. You know, I, I may not have the luxury of having a trail or having mileage you know, in, in some of the other mapping layers. And so as I'm kind of bushwhacking through the country, I can, I can estimate the time of travel depending on how steep an area is or not and so oftentimes I'll use a topographical map to navigate and to route plan knowing that I'm going to go up and over out you know into a different canyon it helps me find that the area of least slope you know areas to avoid uh, and just make travel in the landscape a little bit easier now one other Part of the topographical map are key land features. Oftentimes hunters use peaks, canyons, you know, different features by name, and, and our map includes that. We've been able to pull in that important data or that important part of a topographical map that are useful for hunters. Another key area on our topographical map that we wanted to focus on is water. So hydrology layer is built into our topographical map. It's not a separate layer that you need to turn on. It's always available when you're looking in, in the topo view. Uh, it's, it's, you know, got the, the information that you need for perennial stream, you know, year-round streams versus seasonal streams, 
ponds, lakes, rivers, all of that is distinguishable on our topographical map, which as hunters, you know, oftentimes as we hunt the West, it's dry. Uh, water is key in many of our hunts. And so we wanted that information available just as part of the base map. You don't need to toggle on any other layers or any other information, easy access, easy to read, easy to see how it flows uh, and use that to make uh, educated decisions in, in your, your hunt plan or as you're navigating in the field. So as you can see, the topo map has a million use cases. It's, you know, some of us that come from the old school have used in the paper for decades. Uh, this is a new era and, and a new topo that is better than ever. You can go anywhere from, from navigating successfully in, in, you know, off trail in the backcountry to using it to help you find areas to pinpoint animals. Find that key saddle that you just haven't been able to identify without being on the landscape. The topo helps you do that. Um, Again, it's, it's a great tool in the toolbox of a Western hunter. I don't know what I would do without a topographical map. That's what I use offline to navigate with. Uh, it's a great asset to, to have in your, your tool belt. If you have any questions about our topo, drop them in the comments below. Uh, any suggestions on anything we can help to explain it better, or if you've got questions about topographical maps in general, let us know, we'd like to answer them. If there's more types of videos that we could do better explaining the use case for topos, drop any suggestions you have down below and we'd, we'd like to hear from you guys. As always, if you liked the video, like and subscribe. We've got some great content coming out.